Chelsea saw the video of Adam and she put uh, this thing together. I believe this is on the TikTok. Is it on the TikTok? Yeah, on the TikTok. 45% of working women ages 25 to 45 by 2030 will be non-married, no kids, single. I'll tell you what's wrong with that, nothing. I usually don't do things like this, but when I have to listen to men talk like that, I have no choice but to sedate myself with drugs and alcohol. Lately, I've been loud and proud about my status as a single, unmarried, childless, wild woman. And apparently some men cannot handle that. Every time I go on Instagram, I stumble upon SDE morons like this guy pontificating about how unhappy women like me must be. If you think that you're going to be 45 years old, no kids, not married, and that you're going to genuinely be fulfilled in life because you made money, best of luck to you, honey. Right. No, best of luck to you, honey. I'm sorry, but if the child-free joyride I'm on triggers you, here's a hint. If you need daily alpha content to remind you to be alpha, you might not be an alpha. Take it from an alpha. And the truth is, studies show that single women live longer and are happier. You want to know why? Because they wake up every day and they don't have to listen to dipshits like you. Anyway, I have to go because my single, unmarried ass is about to perform at my sold-out comedy show. I'd invite you, but there are no tickets left. <laughs> Bye. Man, it's so interesting because there, there's really a lot here. Uh, first off, Adam's going into some actual numbers on this stuff, and we're going to give you some more numbers on this related to depression and a bunch more. Uh, but what he, ta what he says there is if you want to have a genuinely, be genuinely fulfilled in life. And the question there for Chelsea, and, and by the way, I don't mean this in a, in a purely judgmental sense. I truly don't. Everyone is an individual, and there are people, there absolutely are people who, who are outside of the norm, right? So if 90% of people, let's say, uh, want the same things, like fundamentally actually want the same things to find a partner that makes them happy and be fulfilled and hopefully have a family and experience all of those things, that's probably what 90% of the people actually want if you could just sort of parse it down. Uh, but of course there are people on the margins who can be fulfilled in other ways. Uh, Patrick Bet David, who is uh, Sosnick's on his uh, show every day, uh, said this on Twitter. I thought this was quite good. Childless women are 46% more likely to report higher depression compared to mothers. Some are childless by choice. Some can't get pregnant. People who try so hard to appear happy on the outside are typically in a lot of pain. She's trying real hard. Now that's obviously in reference to, to Chelsea Handler. Again, again, everyone has every right to make every choice for themselves. I am not trying to, uh, to tell anyone to live any way that they don't want to. But there are themes. There are basic truths that we all know to be true. And I think part of the reason we're so screwed up culturally and politically and everything else is everything that we knew to be true 20 years ago seems to be up for debate today.